Flagler Beach, Florida. A half century old fishing pier is undergoing reconstruction. 650 feet from shore, a crane is being used to dismantle the last of the old wooden pilings. But a severe storm is moving in, with waves building in size and power. Back on the pier, the construction workers race to protect their tools and equipment. As the storm gets closer, John Toft senses they're in great danger. My goal was to secure what we had out there and, and leave, naturally, as quickly as we possibly could. The surf swells to 15 feet. Toft and fellow worker John Anderson are attempting to tie down the crane. But suddenly, a massive wave smashes over the pier. It slams the crew with full force. Sweeping Anderson into the churning sea. Anderson, in the dark clothing, is standing behind Toft when the breaker hits. Toft runs to throw him a life preserver, but it's too late. Anderson is nowhere to be found. The men search for Anderson, unaware that their own lives are in danger. We're going to count contractor personnel. Just 10 feet away, a section of the pier sways in the pounding surf. Then suddenly... Nice the towering structure collapses into the raging ocean. This was the end of the pier. The sound of the waves was, was deafening, thundering. And there was a large creaking sound, and then, then it was gone. Somehow, Toft and another man make it to safety. They dodge the heavy beams that crash down around them. Despite this horrifying close call, the men turn their attention back to their co-worker, who is yet to be seen. Then, they spot something in the water. It's John Anderson, and he's alive. I remember hitting the water, and then looking up, and staying away from all the extra lumber that's down there. And I still see there's more of it still coming out. Anderson struggles to stay afloat, as giant sections of wood rain down from the disintegrating pier. Well, I remember being in the water and looking for something to hold on to. I, was, I had a bunch of coats and everything on. I kept going south, and I was heading south hard. The current sweeps Anderson out of harm's way, allowing him to escape with only minor injury. I'll never forget the day we were out there and the, uh, the power of the ocean. I'm very fortunate and very lucky that we all walked away from there unscathed and unhurt.